Man, it's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young Guy, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon. I right, get into your real raw rugged, man. I'm back in this thing with another review, man. This is that uh, Jamila Woods Legacy Legacy. Now, for whatever reason, I found this album. Well, I found it before it came out, way before it came out. The singles were releasing. And you know when you pre-order an album, they, like, deliver you the singles as it come out. So I'm listening to the singles. I'm like, yo, these are really good songs. I can't wait for the album to come out. So the album finally comes out, and I'm like, yo, this is not what I expected. This is way better than I expected, first of all. And then two, this is a really black album. It's a really woman album. So if you combine black and woman, you get a black woman album right here. This is a really like just black woman album right here. She's talking about a lot of woman problems, talking about a lot of black problems, talking about a lot of uh, men. Like this is a really black woman album right here. So if you ain't ready to open your ears and delve into a mind of a black woman, not not just a black woman, but a black woman, hey man, you might want to pass this album right here. But this is amazing. So before we get into it, it's already brought to you by the Pizza Hut, man. So let's get right into it. So Betty. Now this album or the songs in this album are named after people. We'll get into that a little bit later on, but just wanted to put it out there. Betty though starts off beautiful, man, with the like her vocals are so weird. Like her voice is a really, really interesting voice. Same way that I think Erica Badu has a really, really interesting voice, but it sounds good. Like it's very different. The way she sounds is not like a usual singer. Just her tone of voice is a very, very unique sound. And it's really pretty, man. I love the way she does this. The, I am not your typical girl. Oh, dirty song is fire, bro. What you say? What is up with you and the pandemic man? Always up to something. She was going off of this song right here, bro. Very, very fire track right here, man. And then she goes to uh, Zora. Very, very good song. What she said, she had the collard greens with the silver spoon. What you talking about, man? God damn, man. Throw it bite one time, man. Hey, collard greens is so good, but when it's cooking, goodness gracious, boy, that's the most nasty smell of all time, bro. You ever be in the kitchen while somebody cooking collard greens? But that's a that's a must leave now, boy. That bitch smell stankin' and stankin' it, boy. That bitch smell stankin' in the mud, don't it, man? But hey, when it comes out, put a little hot sauce on it, man. Collard greens, top five. That might be top two green foods of all time, and it's not two, man. I'm not gonna lie. I can't name you one better thing that's green better than collard greens, man. Greens is fire. I remember I was talking to my old teacher one time. He a white country dude. And I said, hey, Mr. Smith, you know uh, you know, white people don't really eat collard greens. They don't even know what collard greens is. He said, oh, boy, they don't know what they're missing now. <laughs> He said, ooh, boy, they don't know what they're missing. Oh, when I was on that board, I used to collard greens and neck bones. <laughs> he said, turkey legs, frog legs. <laughs> Well, that nigga was so funny, man. Shout out to Mr. Smith, man. Very funny country white guy. Anyway, Zora, a very, very good song. But then we go to Giovanni. That was one of the first singles I heard. Really, really good song, man. Um, I love the beat. The honey motherfuckers can't call me. And the men of them can't call me. And the men with the introspective water is a love. Man, it's so good. The beat is so, like, potent and it's so beautiful. What she said? What she said? Oh, I, I've been like this since grandmama raised me. Baby, I've been on my Giovanni. I said, how I see it? Man, her voice is so beautiful beautiful bro and it's so it's weird because she has a very beautiful voice but it has some conviction to it usually when you have a very beautiful and adorable voice it's like oh that's so beautiful but when she sings she gets your attention it's like she got to be saying something because she's saying it with a purpose even though it sounds beautiful her voice is very uh i mean that's a lot of black women though. a lot of black women have very beautiful voices but when they get in that tone where you know you need to listen like a black mom is like, oh man you know what i'm saying i have so many black women teachers that's like oh you know what i'm saying it gets you an attention when, when they start talking even though they got a nice voice so she got one of them voices but still her voice is so unique and different but yeah giovanni was definitely fire man and it goes to the breakdown with that there must be a reason why there must be a there must be a reason there must be a there must be a reason why there must be that shit was fire man and then a guitar solo at the end man the guitar was Man, nigga was going crazy, man. I don't know. Nigga, Sting was playing that. Who nigga was going crazy, man? Fire track, though, man. Very, very fire track. Then we go to Sonya featuring Nitty Scott. 
Now, man, I really do love this song. This is honestly one of my favorite songs on here. I love she put Nitty Scott on here. Nitty Scott, honestly, is one of the best female rappers I've ever heard, bro. I remember she had an old song with Kendrick a very, very long time ago. And I'm like, yo, this is hard. And I never really heard from her after that. I hear like little features or whatnot, but she's never on any prominent albums. I don't know why, but man, Nitty Scott is definitely a lyricist. She's like one of the better female rappers out there, in, in my opinion, of all time. So for her to put her on here... That's real talk right there. It's real spill right there, as they say, man. And Sonia was hard, man. I love the way she... Basically, the song her is talking like, like, nigga, you don't own me. Like, she in a relationship. It started off good. She thought the nigga was nice. But then she was like, whoa, like, you trying to tell me how to behave? You trying to... And then she said, hey, listen here, brother. What she said? She said, my great-great-grandmama was a slave. She found liberation before the grave. How you tell me how to behave? <laughs> And I'm some black woman shit right now. Black women will bring out something that don't got nothing to do with nothing and try to bring in their favor. You be like, when is you going to wash the dishes? Nigga, don't you know my great-great-grandmama was the first air pilot of the war, World War 35 <laughs> Tuskegee Air Woman? Like, what is you talking about? <laughs> you going to wash these dishes? <laughs> hey, man. And then, but then when she said, you like, damn. Her great mother, well, she did find liberation. Why is she trying to tell him how to behave? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. This is fire right here, man. That Nitty Scott came through snapping on her verse. But Nitty, she came through. I'm not Nitty, but um, uh, uh, freaking Jamila. She came through flowing like, like Badu at the very beginning of the song. Her voice was very, very fire. And then she came through at the very end with like the little second verse. That was hard, man. So, yeah, this song is really, really good, man. My favorite part definitely is that. My great great grandma, she was a slave. She found liberation before the grave. How you tell me how to behave? <laughs> hey, it was bad, man. Her voice control is beautiful, man. What she said, it wasn't an arguing, it wasn't a yelling, it was the self hatred, man. That's crazy. A lot. I don't know if that's what she was saying, but a lot of niggas definitely be having women like feeling very self conscious about themselves. I was just talking to this girl the other day, and she was telling me how her ex just made her feel self-conscious man and she just like she she's still trying to rebuild her 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 basically confidence from that from that relationship because he tore her down so yeah man niggas definitely hold a lot of power in a relationship just because of, i guess the physical aggression and the woman they they basically give them their all and when they give them their all they have nothing left so they just give it to that man and that man has it all in their hand and he could squish it or he could cherish it and a lot of niggas choose to squish it so yeah man Appreciate these black women, man. They're amazing. So, yeah, fire song. And then we go to Freedom, man. I feel like this is the song that when Yes Jules went out to uh, Africa and she tweeted Ghana is a whole vibe, this had to be the song playing, man. This, this sound like Ghana is a whole vibe. I don't know what that means, but when I listen to the song, I'm like, damn, Ghana really is a whole vibe. <laughs> Bro, going that going to a country and saying God is a whole vibe is crazy, bro. <laughs> I don't know what that means, bro. I don't know if she was like, hey, the niggas in America, they cool and all. But these Ghana niggas different. <laughs> hey, these niggas are a whole vibe. Hey, yes, Jules is a wild person for that one right there. But yeah. This song is very, very beautiful, man. I don't really know how to explain it outside of a Ghana whole vibe. That's what it sounded like. It sounded like she was in the middle of Ghana like, I, I, I was mad at yes, Jules, but shit. <laughs> this shit really is a whole vibe. <laughs> hey, man, this is some whole vibe music right here, man. Fire track. And then we go to Eartha, man. Eartha is hard, man. What she say, man, how many times do I got to sit and listen? Basically, once again, saying that I'm putting up with this nigga BS. And it's like, how many times do I got to actually sit and listen to this nigga, man? Like, I done sat here and listened to all your lies, all your excuses, nigga. I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? I feel that, man. You know, you don't got to sit there. And, and, and uh, I feel like women put up with niggas more than niggas put up with women. Like, a nigga be quick to leave a girl. You, you, you cheat on them. Well, I'm out of here. But a girl, they'll stick up with you. I don't know why they do that. Like, that's cool and all, but hey, man. If you cheat on me, out there, I'm out. Man. You know what I'm saying, man? What Martin say, man? You don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell out of here, man. Got him get the stepping, man. That's how more women need to be, man. Y'all be giving niggas way too many chances, man. And this is fire, man. The way she did, the way she said, I don't know why that I sit and listen to you. I don't know why how I sit and listen to you. I don't know why when I sit and listen to you. I don't know why I keep sitting and listen to you. And then she with the, ooh, ooh, 
in the background over her vocals. Man, the way she does her music, bro, is beautiful. I love the way she she uses like layering of the voices. She likes to layer her voice, her vocals over another one, and it's beautiful, man. Fire song, man. And she's saying, I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this anymore. So I I feel that, man. More women need to take that advice right there, man. Stop listening to these niggas. And then we go to Miles, man. Miles, I would imagine, um, named after Miles Davis. I don't know, but fire song either way a pretty cool song they really have too much to say about this but then muddy is hard man muddy sound like the middle of the war nigga muddy sound like when a race war pop off nigga i need deontay wilder in this song playing nigga hey if we get this song playing when the race war pop off and i get deontay wilder in the front row nigga deontay wilder ready to knock nigga head off man it's not deontay wilder man this is so needy player man got them got them resurrect a couple of uh, black panthers had this song playing and deontay wilder in the front line hey man we all good man we taking a dub we're taking a dub back to the hood man that's all i'm saying fire track the song is really chaotic it sounds like chaos like this is what the song sounds like but like i said her voice is so beautiful but it's still mixed in with that command that a lot of black women have and it's it just goes perfect man it's like enough dichotomy and it's enough similarities with the beat and her vocals to make the song just perfect it's a match made in heaven so yeah muddy's a really good song once again named after muddy waters i'm not really for sure but either way really really good song and it's like a it's like a, a melody in the middle of this song it's like around like 249 ish if i'm not mistaken beautiful man shout out to baby girl man so yeah uh that was that and then we go to track number uh, i had to do some crazy stuff with the pizza box we're gonna track number nine man basquiat oh my gosh man featuring saba man why this nigga saba be going like that i don't know who gave this nigga saba the pink slip but this nigga was whoa but this nigga was slipping and sliding all over this hole man that nigga was he was i'm in the black today and a black man with the batman with the cat man i got the rat man the batman with the batman i was like god damn man this nigga was going crazy, man. Nigga lost his bar, man. Nigga, nigga heard an Eminem song and said, "I can rap fast too." Goddamn, you even man, but he went, he went on some Eminem crazy, like I got the lorkin and the rorkin and it's porkin with the morkin. <laughs> I just spit crazy right there. I don't know if y'all seen that, but hey, man, fire track right here. Possibly, I don't want to go out on a limb, but it's possibly maybe my favorite song here. Just from his rapping, her singing, the refrain in the middle of this song, it got stuck in my head, and I replayed it like five times before I reviewed this album. Such a good song, man. Such a good song, man. Like she's so so good at what she does, and I and I think she knows it. You know what I'm saying? I love I love when somebody does something with confidence, and they know that they're good with it. Like you could play basketball and be cool, but when you know you good. Like, Damian Lillard know he good. When he hit that game winning shot against PG and he walked off and hit the bye-bye, he know he's fire, and that made it more fire, man. So when she sings and she does these, she says these vocals and she says these lyrics with so much, not even passion because she's so relaxed with it, but like I said, it still has that little aggressiveness to it. You know it's fire because she she knows that she's good, man. So, yeah, this is fire, man. Some of the lyrics on here, bro, throughout this whole album, she's a really good songwriter, man. The one she said, these teeth are not employed. Basically saying, like, it could go for a relationship, for a job. Like, my nigga, you don't own my teeth. You can't tell me when to smile. You can't tell me how to behave. You can't police my joy. That's basically what that, like, the whole refrain that got stuck in my head. Like, these teeth are not employed. You cannot lose my joy. It's fire, bro. Like a lot of black men, when they get successful, they gotta chee, you know, say chee. They, they gotta be happy, man. So they don't, you know, what I'm saying, white, white America love a submissive black man. But she basically saying, like, you can't police my smile. You don't own my smile. You don't own me. You know, so you cannot police my joy. So that was fire, right there. What she say after? After all, hey, you do. What do you say? Uh, she say these teeth are not employed. You can't police my joy. After, after all, ooh, these teeth are not employed. You can't police my joy, man. Fire, man. Fire, bro. I told you, bro. These lyrics on these songs. 
they're amazing bro she's a really underrated songwriter i'm glad i heard this album because i feel like i would have been sleeping on her and she's really good bro her voice like i said man it puts me in a very just like relaxed state but i'm still listening to what she's saying a lot of singers they have very beautiful voices you won't be really paying attention to what they're saying but i really want to hear what she's saying on each one of these songs there's something about her voice that's got that command to it man sun Ra featuring the mind and jasmine fire the mind is really underrated bro that nigga's hard every time i hear that nigga on any type of feature that nigga snap and he did on here too man this is a really really good song very underrated uh vocalist that that the mind is and then we go to octavia man uh now this is basically her saying it's some black empowerment stuff man what she say don't ever let a textbook scare you you were the missing technology so they stole you fire man talk that talk that the black man and the black woke man was the original man and woke man shit jamila you know what i'm saying i love this man like i said it's really put me in a good state man i love this whole album and then it goes to baldwin featuring nico seagal he came through with the you know what i'm saying you know he the, he the trumpet player man so yeah really good song as well um and then it closed out with betty for boogie and this is a remix of the first song betty um and it was really good it's a really good little remix a little kind of like a dancey vibe to it almost and yeah that's all i gotta say about this um this kind of went longer than i expected but hey i had to talk about jamila man she's really good so until next time you guys check that out i say what i mean i mean what i say haters gonna hate and ooh, ooh players gonna play y'all holla at your boy now man